Hi, I'm Christy Cooper-White. We're here at the studio at Pitaro Beach down in Carpinteria. Um, New Year started. I know you're motivated and you're ready to take care of yourselves, but I'll bet you're also noticing you have no more time now than you had last week. So what I want to give you and what I want to give myself is a few exercises that we can do if you can't get to the studio, if you can't get to the gym. What can you do to know that you're taking care of yourself, that you're giving yourself just a minute, and you're working all parts of the body? So that's what we're going to do here. Stand with your feet slightly apart, take a deep breath in. I'm going to simulate somewhat what you would do in a reformer class, just for a few minutes, and exhale. Inhale, filling up, you've got to bring energy in. Cultivate more and let stress and tension go. Or let energy out, same thing. Okay, from here, when we're thinking of posture, you're upright, right? I'm going to turn sideways just so you can see what we're doing. As if your feet were on the foot bar, on the heels, you've got some weight into your heels, we're just going to hinge forward. Don't send the knees forward, send the hips slightly back. Keep your back aligned as it was. You just broke at the hips, so to speak, you didn't round. Okay, that's how we do it, and then we just come back up. Let's go. Inhale and exhale. Imagine stretching your waist. So in this position, you're just going to keep going. You're getting to work the glutes, the bigger muscles of the body, the quads, the legs, right? All the while maintaining the stability in the middle, which is really what we're interested in. That's how you work everything more efficiently. So that's to say that you're not wavering, you're not rounding and then arching. You're strong, you're proud. Inhale and exhale. If you want to get a little more out of it, think of pressing the arms each direction as if they're going through a solid. Working resistance, you can do so much without anything that you really have no excuse for doing nothing. I'm gonna go for five more. Let's go, inhale one, exhale, lengthen. Here's two, kind of relaxed in the feet. Here's three. And on your next one, we'll come up, we'll stay up, stay connected, slightly float the heels. It's not very high, same exercise. Hinge and squeeze to come up. Can you feel the glutes? Inhale. There's some balance going on here. If you prefer, you can let the heels stay down, that's okay would be okay to heat up a little too. And press, whoa, don't look around, that's the one thing. Nice and long press. And if you're wobbling a lot, just set the heels down. Right, you wanna get the work, you don't have time. I'll give you another balance in a moment. Here we go, let the heels come down. The next foot position is just to swivel, so you've turned the leg bones out a little. Don't go crazy with turning the feet out, they're still somewhat more forward but you have this sense of wrap around hopefully same exercise keeping the heels down this time we hinge we squeeze make the knees come together now it's possible that if your knees are together the heels can't be together i'd rather you keep going you get a full extension through the leg even if it means the heels have to be apart so there's your measure and we bend and squeeze tall Think about your upper back right there. It's like you're pressing your arm against an imaginary wall. Couple more. One more. Voila. Okay, standing with the feet comfortably apart. Slight turnout would be okay. From here, we're gonna roll down. I just have my hands on my thighs. Roll down mm, till we, almost when you get to the knees. Then extend your back. That means kind of reach the tailbone out. Let your back come into a nice long line. A little curve in the low back is fine. Just don't over-exaggerate. Okay, it's a sort of natural spot. All right, from here in this lean forward, we're gonna play with the back extensors, make them work. Abs are lightly engaged. We let both arms float up by the ears. Don't change your neck or back. Exhale, press the arms through the air until they come up behind you. Don't change your neck or back. In other words, you don't throw it forward, you don't round. Inhale, come forward and up. Exhale, back. How about squat a little lower as you let the arms come up? Come up just a little bit, stay knees bent, and press the arms back. Keep those arms quite close to you. Inhale, and exhale. You can just keep the legs still, too. That's probably even better, so we don't lose any of it in trying to think. And press. Getting a lot going on here, a little shoulder action. Hopefully, you can feel those upper back extensors. If you're feeling a lot in your low back, either slightly tuck your pelvis, rounding the low back slightly, or come out of it, or come more upright. Last one here. Hold the arms up. Neck is long. Just bring the arms back a little further. Two. Hinge forward more. Three. Oh, you thought this was going to be easy? Five. Six. Keep those knees bent. Seven. There's eight. 
There's nine. And 10, let the arms come down. Put them above the knees on the thighs, around your low back, and release it. I've got weight on my arms, weight on my thighs. Round and release. On this one, we'll roll all the way up. And there we are. Okay, stepping right foot slightly in front. Left leg is behind you on the ball of the foot. Reach like you're pushing into the ground, okay? So that this leg is tight. Right? You're not just hanging out there. It's, you're about to propel. From that place, you're gonna lean forward a little, most likely, so that you don't have a crank in your low back, but it's long. From there, simply, in fact, put your hand on your thigh. Lift the thigh, don't worry about the foot. Two, that's it, three. Nothing else changes, you're not leaning forward. Five, six, that's what that leg does. This gets harder to do as we age, so we should all do that. If you're leaning a lot, that's probably too much. You want to feel that resistance. All right, there we go. Hold it up and just pulse, pulse, pulse. Do whatever you want with your arms. To balance long. Keep that hip pointed forward. Let's go four, three, two, and one. Bring yourself upright. Relax the arms, other foot behind you. Get to where you feel the glute, where the leg meets. A subtle hinge is fine. And then from there, lift. I'm trying to stay parallel. So knee pointed straight to the floor, basically, not out to the side. Lift, and lift, touch down, lift, touch down, lift, touch down. Feel free to hold a wall or anything, a friend. Hold it up. If it's crunching in your low back, maybe don't lift the foot off the floor and just tighten the glutes. Or perhaps you need to hinge a little bit. Perhaps your foot's not back enough. Let's go 10 little pulses. One, two, three, four, keeping it up. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Don't you feel better already? We've done the legs a little bit, we've done the back. That's good stuff. Let's do the part you really want, which is your abdominals. Lying down, comple uh, not completely, knees are bent, hands behind your head. Press your head back into the ground, letting your elbows be off the mat. From here, you're going to press that area right in the middle of the chest down. That's what's going to lift you up. You don't change your neck much at all. And then from there, reach around, grab the legs, take an inhale here, use the arms a little to come, not necessarily higher, but more forward toward your thighs. Let go, reach them up, the arms go up, put them behind your head, and come down. Here's a breath pattern, inhale, exhale. You don't wanna tuck the pelvis if you can help it. Inhale, reach to your legs. Exhale, pull yourself, cement the abs, push down there, inhale, arms up, eyes are still forward, Put your hands behind your head and exhale down. Inhale when you get there. Start exhaling and up we come. Inhale, reach to the legs. Exhale, pull again. Be careful the shoulders aren't up. It's, it just isn't worth it. It doesn't help. Keep them down and relaxed. Arms up. Put them behind your head and down you go. One more. We can do four of anything. Here we go. Up. Are you reaching with your head? Maybe. Press it backwards and reach with the spine. Inhale to the legs. Exhale. Blow out all your air. Prove it. Are you sure? Make, make a scene. Arms up. Stay up here. Rotate to your left. Come higher as you come through the middle. Rotate to your right. Blow out your air. Inhale as you come higher and exhale to your left. Elbows don't need to change. Inhale. Exhale right. Inhale. Everything else is still. The legs don't move. The hips don't move. That's where you get that rotation. Keep going. Inhale. And now exhale left. Inhale as you come through the middle without losing any height. Exhale. One more per side. Doesn't take long, does it? And then from there, relax your way down. Okay, grab hold of one leg. Sit yourself up. Stretch yourself out nice and long and we go into just a, a saw, a rotation. You can do this with bent knees. Really important that your back is straight. So from here, rotate to the front. Exhale, reaching forward. You can keep that opposite hip down. Oh, that feels good. You can even have the back hand on the ground for a moment. Sit up and come back to the center. Inhale, rotate the other way. Exhale, reaching out long. Both sit bones are equally weighted. Inhale, sit up and then home. Two more and reach. Inhale up and home. And you could, I said two more, but let's do it again. You could do this anywhere, anytime. You gotta admit, even though it may not be an, as much as you wanted to do, it's something. And hopefully, this is it. Sit up, 
hopefully you already feel the desire perhaps to do a little bit more, even though we're gonna stop after this next exercise. Fingertips face your heels. Lift your hips up off the ground. Make sure you're out of your shoulders so you're not sinking, right? You're lifted, you can tuck your hips or not. I don't see any reason you need to really. Bend your elbows. Keep them down and back, straighten them. Bend, straighten them. No big deal. Work in the triceps. Trying to keep the chest somewhat open, a little stretch to the front. Oh yeah, it feels good. You can stop anytime you want. We're almost done though. How about 10 more? One, two, three, four fingers facing heels, six, seven, and eight, and up, and nine, and up, and 10, and have a seat. Sitting however you're most comfortable, cross-legged, stretched out, but so that your spine can be upright and easy because here comes the best part. If you don't have any time, which sometimes feels like we don't, we can take these long breaths and that can be a vacation in and of itself for the body, certainly for the mind, so let's do that. Take a deep breath in or a long breath and just let go. And feel the lightness that you might have created in even a short amount of time inside while the rest of you becomes kind of heavy. And one more and we'll get back to what we're doing, but make it a good one. Inhale. And with the exhale, feel good for even a few minutes for yourself. It's a good start. <sighs> 